Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and men and women. It is another day of Fallout 4 survival in Horizon. Yes, last episode we spent a good portion of the episode trying to cure a disease. <laughs> because Parasites early on is pretty much an end game, and... As you can see, I am still under the effects of Atomic Scotch. And I have eaten food. I actually ended up eating almost all my food, thanks to, you know, that. We've got the Fat Man to deal with the... Death Claw. I'm probably gonna put some of these weapons away because I don't need them. And I think it's time we headed to... Our destination of Concord. We've already cleared out the initial, you know, intro, so it's one less thing to worry about. Um, don't know how I got that, but okay. Put all the meat away. We we'll, don't really need to carry that. I'll carry water just in case. Actually, I'm going to put the fishing rod away too, because I'm not going to go fishing right now. All right. So we've got, I mean, obviously four shotgun shells for that, so not much. 38 for that, so that's okay. A few for that. I don't think I have anything for that. Add a few nine millimeters. A few. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll get more ammo as we go in there. It's not an issue so much now. Hey, nice, Tesla. Sweet. Like I said, the magazines are completely random. So yeah, it looks like for the most part, I'm probably going to be using either this or the X24 laser pistol. Let me see if I have any more 357 in the bank. I already took it out. Okay. So yeah, we'll probably be using the lever action till it's out of ammo. I may just throw it away once it's out of ammo, honestly. Wait, is this a good condition one? Yeah, I might have to keep this one. It's only a negative 5%. It's pretty good condition. I mean, it's even better than my hunting rifle as far as condition is concerned. My best weapon, condition-wise. I don't count the caravan shotgun because that's a modded weapon. It doesn't actually have condition because it's not part of the initial mod. But that's okay. So... With Horizon, you can fast travel in Horizon, but in order to fast travel, you have to travel between your settlements. So you actually would either need a lot of gumption to travel around the map and just claim settlements, or uh, the Minutemen Radiant Quests to unlock settlements. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to unlock the Minutemen so I can get the Radiant Quests and start getting settlements. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to set up a supply line star network. So literally, it'll just be lines all to Sanctuary. You know, a single star network. And then once I get to Diamond City, I'll probably move my main base there because the mod author, I think it's Zawanul. Um, I'll post the mod link in, in, in the description this time for it if you had if you need the mod link but he actually rebuilt home plate into a whole special you know modded home that's actually a mini vault and it's pretty big and you can actually have settlers there and you can also have you know all your stuff so and it's you know it's centrally located so it's pretty good spa space on the map I turn that off. I am running a mod that's called No More Fake Puddles. So the areas where you would see like fake water have been turned off. Like this is actual water. But where there's fake water puddles, like that would probably be one in the base game. But I've turned it off. It can actually affect frame rate, believe it or not. I mean, it's minor, very, very minor. But it can affect your frame rate. And if you're running certain ENBs uh, that run a lot of HDR or run a lot of Bloom. What it'll do is it'll create areas where it's like super bright on the ground and it just looks stupid. So, actually, I got that tip from Wanderer because he runs an ENB similar. He runs one that's a little bit more high high power than mine, but he doesn't run the depth of field. I'm running one that has a very minor depth of field effect, 
but it's also designed for play. Alright, so let's see if we can take these two bastards out real fast. Sweet. Oh, and I do have bullet counted reload for this gun, so yeah. No more British occupation. Nothing there now. Where'd he go? You lost the back name. Come on, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Have your tea back, you chicken apes. No taxation without representation. Prick, come on. Let's send these crates back to London, boys. Shit. Where did he go? He's like running away. What the fuck? Please don't be Farrell's again. No, yeah, Farrell's running around with lever action rifles, prick. He's gonna go back, yeah. At least I thought he was gonna go back to that room. Boy, was I friggin' wrong. Um, I can't scrap it all yet. I do emphasize yet. So, we're gonna take what we can, we're gonna leave what we can't, because that stupid fat man weighs a ton. Lock tight. I'm gonna get advanced lock picking on my next level up. Because like I said, uh, if you don't know, you run the van system and you get five perk points plus the, excuse me, plus the refunded perk point. So, yeah. I'm not gonna hack the computer because every time I hack the computer for some reason, it glitches out and I get stuck, like in the, the loading loop on it. So, I'll just pick the lock and get it here. I don't care. All right, but yeah. I'll pick up lockpicking. I'll eventually pick up hacking because the way that these perks work, he does them a little different. Uh, just to show you real quick. Uh, shit, I can't get a hacker for a while. I'll need to get another intelligence point. I'll probably do that next level anyway. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm going to have to probably dump into charisma though because I want local leader. Um, but yeah, you, you get plus 20 to your lockpicking skill. With a 20, you can pick advanced locks. Well, if you saw from what I just did, like, it'll show you updating skills, but I don't, like, if I go over to the field kit, okay, and you can see skill menu, this is your, this is my skills. So right now I have a skill of lock picking at 9.8. So if I pick up that perk, it'll be 29.8 as you unlock pick unlock doors or, or boxes that skill goes up same with uh you know using terminals like i'll eventually use that terminal i mean i can't do it right now i guess why not i just don't do it while I'm, don't do it while you're crouched because it literally fucks shit up every time i do it see every time i do it like it, it may eventually fix itself but it probably won't because every time i try to use this stupid terminal dog meat gets in the way So, I might have to do a center on sale again. Or reload. Uh, re reload it send me all the way back there because I don't have a save. Well, let me see. Center on sale. Conquered EXT. Okay. So, it's just going to teleport me right outside pretty much. So, I'm not really cheating as much as I am just reloading outside because the game decided to be stupid. And that, that's not the first time that's happened to me. I've had to done this multiple times before because of just stupidity with that stupid terminal. See, it's still trying to load the terminal. I have no idea why that happens. So I'm just going to avoid that stupid terminal altogether. And I'm going to drop a save real quick. Like I said, I only save when I'm either going to do something really stupid. Because <laughs> I'm... I do dumb shit all the time. Or, I know situations can be, you know, bad. Like, I know that there's, that, like, that stupid terminal almost caused no the game to basically occupation. freak out, so. So, whatever. So, fuck the terminal, that thing is dumb. Let's go upstairs, we'll clear out all this fun stuff. I really, I really, 
really need. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, mining helmet. Mining helmet flashlight is so much better than the Pip Boy flashlight. I normally run the mod uh, Pip Pip flashlight or Pip Boy flashlight, but it's not compatible with this. So it's kind of sad. But what are you gonna do? Got quite a few bottle caps there, but I didn't get any extra ammo. Yeah, one thing you can always do with this mod, though, is you can pick up everything. Uh, junk-wise, junk-wise, junk-wise. Because junk weighs almost nothing. Yeah. You can't pick up everything, but you can definitely pick up everything that's junk, because junk has very little weight now. Hold out for the others, like we're supposed to. What are you, deaf? Somebody's out there shooting the place up. I ain't sitting around waiting to die. I swear. Where the fuck are they? I have no throwables. You make a move for that exit. What the? You might tell. Come on. Damn it. No. Dude was wearing a trench coat. So wait. Oh, uh, you don't, that doesn't happen in this mod. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I thought it happened in this mod, but I guess I was wrong. Um, may, that much just be base game, and then maybe frost. Yeah, you can do it in frost. Uh, when you pick up weapons there, of the same weapon again. type, on, man. you can actually they ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to uh, do. What's it called? You, you can pick up the weapon and, and then drop off. the weapon, and it'll take I'll the ammo back. out of it. And you'll be dead. I'm waiting for these guys. I'm not gonna be stupid. To just totally bought like to destroy me, especially that guy with the caravan oh shotgun. Seriously, he would wreck my ass. Wait, they both have caravan shotguns? What the hell? Come on, prick. Shut up, Preston. Shut up, Preston. It's like, I'm not done working with you until I'm done looting. Well, he just won't shut up, will he? Yeah, it's like, I don't know if Sim Settlements is, is compatible with this mod or not, so I haven't installed Sim Settlements 2 to the game yet. So I don't know. I'm just going to take it all. Take it all until I'm encumbered. Yay! Those are, uh... What the hell? Okay, that's weird. Uh, those notes. You can find them sometimes, like local wildlife, or you'll find, like, um, other... Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Press they give you experience. Commonwealth Minutemen. Glad to help. Well, if that's please go on. How about I just skip through this conversation Sorry. as much as possible? Sounds really. Thanks. Maybe one good idea can make all the Sturgis. Mm -hmm. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. I like it. <laughs> uh -huh. Minigun. <laughs> I know, right? It can be. Uh -huh. I'll help if I can. Uh -huh. But we can't get to the damn. Uh -huh. Look, I fixed. Actually, I already grabbed. Well, all right. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get through this stupid conversation. Yeah. I don't mind like letting conversations play out. Now look who dog meat brought to us. You talk to her because she'll tell you dog meat. He's a good dog. Oh, 
Uh, until then, Please, you, know, tell me what you know, his name will just be Dog. Yeah, I, that's incredible. And sure, what is it, Mama? I nope. Mm -hmm. Don't have a high right. enough charisma for that. That's like a thirty percent chance. You know, I could probably get through that computer, but I don't care. Not right now. I'll come back for it later. Look. They're Perfect. Just maybe. Okay, so we got a perk point there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in charisma. So they don't have to spend as much. See, because now I can actually get local leader. Although, actually, I guess it all I needed Big, was one point. But That's good. good in the fight. I need What's going on? Are we getting out of here? Shut up, I Marcy. I promised we could. You're a punk. So sorry. So sorry. Do I have a critical? Yes, I do. I think I do. Well, if I don't, I can probably get one. Just by spraying one of the raiders. I'll save before I put the power armor on. Just because I, I have a strong feeling I'm probably going to die at least once here. This is not a permadeath run. I don't do those that often because... Death is actually kind of part of the game, truth be told. Yes, there's this. Wow, two pieces. That's all we got? Two pieces of fucking power. Well, we're going to get wrecked. At least I'm ready for the death claw. Up here. Boss, we got somebody up here. Sure. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my boy. Give me that. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, you should totally like, you know, make let Preston do all the work or let the Death Claw kill the Raiders. And I'm like, why? It's like you're gonna miss out on a fuckload of XP. Why would you want to do that? Go, go attack that fool, dude. Okay, we're running out of bullets. Um, this thing's accuracy is awful. Let's get the rifle out. Actually, I'll probably get the death claw to spawn now so that I can hit him with that nuke. Come on, spawn. Spawn! Oh my god, he doesn't want to spawn. There he goes. Damn, took your fucking sweet time, didn't you? Goodbye, bitch. All right, we can get rid of that. I don't even—I don't even have a need to carry it. Yeah, I know, dog meat. A little rough, but that's okay. Wait, you got all day? What? What? Where does corpse go? I see that guy. I'm getting a little bit of razz, but that's okay. Where do you fuck? He's talking shit. Are you literally hiding from me? Fucking dick. <laughs> he's sitting here talking shit, and he's not even like. He's hiding. Like a little. Like a little girl. <gasps> Like I said, that fight would have gone a whole lot differently if, at one, I didn't have a mini nuke, and two, I didn't have a critical. I'm gonna take all his crap because his crap is actually good. 
Um, I'll probably take yours just because you have ammo. Um, sure. I gotta break, I start breaking all this shit down. I should probably hit a bandage real quick. I don't have one. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm glad I did pretty well in that fight because I don't have any bandages. Like I said, I don't do power armor playthroughs. Like I said, I like to have armor that has pockets and wear backpacks and stuff like that. Because there are actual backpacks in this mod built in. That Which, when you get in power armor, it takes it off. Display. It does, defeats the whole purpose of wearing a freaking backpack. Side. Yep. The feeling's mutual. Listen. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, hey, he gave me some fusion cells. All right, Garvey. Oh. Please tell me. You are a war. I knew it. I, hmm. Wow, it lasts a long time. Right? Please, Mama Murphy. Look, kid. No. Mama Murphy, we talked Ooh, about I almost shot her. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need <clears> Sounds like you better get going to Diamond City. New friend here, no. She's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here. It's safe. I'm gonna go put this power armor at Red Rocket. I think it's probably where I'll store. Well, I don't know. Cause you can scrap the frames in this mod. I think what I might do is I might put this power armor at Sanctuary, but then I mean, will I be encumbered if I pick it up? Hell no. Um, but then I'll just go to. What's it called? What, Olivia? Because at Olivia... Might as well take all this shit. Because, yeah, at Olivia, there there was another set of power armor. I think they had, like, a head and a, and a torso, maybe. And I can grab those and attach it to this frame and then scrap that other frame. I mean, I could just walk over there and get it. Why not? I can't run. If you run, you'll, you lose... Fusion core, so. So we'll just put a marker on that. As we head in that direction. Wait, just does this wait, hold on. Does this have Aqua Boy Aqua Girl or not? Yeah. I need to take that perk. Wait. Fifty percent. Okay. Yeah, so I need to take that perk so that I don't take as much rads in water, because I do want to do uh that stupid quest for Sully Mathis. It may be dumb, but it actually offers quite a bit of experience and eventually becomes a giant raider den. So you can turn around and just get a buttload of experience and weapons right near Sanctuary. So. But yeah, like if you ever wanted to do a power armor playthrough, I would highly recommend watching The Wanderer. Once again, we'll share the link uh, down below. The Wanderer, uh, he's actually doing a full playthrough of horizon and he's been in power armor 90 percent of the time now admittingly yes he's in power armor which means he's not oh shit they're back yes he's in power armor so he's not using bats at all um but he's just doing a damn good job of basically playing the game without it so like I said, you ever, you ever need insight, I would highly recommend watching his videos. I, I, I just don't like power armor. Like I said, for, for obvious reasons. Like, a lot of people say, like, oh, well, you know. If you want carry capacity. If you want carry capacity in the early game, absolutely run power. I mean, I got 400 pounds right now. You know. If I get out of it. I have... 175 so this huge huge differences but as soon as i start put pocketed on my gear and getting a better backpack because that backpack only gives me 20 carry weight but with the backpack mod that i have i can make backpacks that can hold up to 200 now the 200 capacity backpack actually requires rank four of armor smith so it's not like you know you can make it early in the game it takes a while before you get it but People go, oh, that's not realistic, really? Because I was in the army. I carried a 300-pound backpack, thank you very much, for 17 miles. 
on a ruck march. So, yeah. I carried a 180-pound backpack in Iraq for, for two years. <laughs> so, 200 pounds is nothing. But yeah, when you're playing Horizon, you want to grab all these crops because most of the good foods actually require that shit. Yeah, see, there's a head and a chest on that one. So what we can do, since I'm now encumbered, encumbered by a lot, let's grab these, go to options, salvage the frame. I guess I can't do that yet. That sucks. Set oh, you need settler skill. Okay, so no, I don't have that yet. That's okay. Sweet. Now I have an almost full set of power armor. Almost. I honestly, I use them for display display pieces. Unless I have like a ridiculous mission where I would actually need the power armor. Most of the time I don't even bother with it. I... It's just not worth it, in my opinion. If you if you're going with, if you're going with a sniper build, it's oh, hello. What the mole? Wait, what? What? I thought they only spawn when the robots turned on. He must have followed us. Okay, I could... There's a fusion core here. Oh, I already took it. I could turn him on and get the mole rats to spawn, but I really don't care. I could also go over here and fuck with the mire lurks just for the food, but at the same time, I only have one explosive. Oh, I have a few. I could try it. Why not? I'll throw a save out just in case. The best way to deal with these Meyer Lurks is literally to hit them with explosives. From what I've discovered, like, actually one of the best weapons versus Meyer Lurks is the Spray and Pray. Something about that gun is just ridiculous. No, you need to go over there, you stupid punk. Okay, that didn't do shit. Yeah, bitch! All right, now we gotta find the little ones. I blew up all the good eggs. I blew up all the good eggs on accident. Uh, the eggs can actually be ground up for meat. It's pretty good. All right, cool. Let's walk this shit back to sanctuary. Like I don't I mean I don't see a point in wasting the core. I mean, yeah, I mean I use power armor, but you never know, I might need it, so I'm not gonna waste the fusion core. Like it drains it drains by walking, but it drains really slow. So it's not like you're gonna burn it all out instantaneously. If I sprinted there, I'd probably burn twenty five percent of the core just sprinting. It's not worth not worth it in my opinion, as opposed to saving the, as much of the core as I can, getting to sanctuary, like that's an, that's why I'm not even using the uh, slow slow mo because that even uses your vats. So, like I'll use vats to scout. Like, you hear the vat sound? That's just scouting. As long as you don't actually use your AP, it won't burn the core. You can just use it for scouting purposes or whatever. I think you need those wild carrot flowers for one of the drinks. I think it's the vegetable juice, the V7 juice. Let's not joke and kid about what it really is. I mean, it's friggin' V8. But yeah, like, that's actually one of the best hydration drinks. And it also fulfills some of your hunger as well. Do I have that quest selected? No, that's something completely different. Yeah, we're not going to go to Sanctuary Hills, or to Diamond City for a while, just because Boston in survival mode is really friggin' difficult. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably end up getting to Ten Pines Bluff, unlocking Ten Pines Bluff, 
and then going from there. Uh, because I think after Ten Pines, you got to go to the castle, which I don't know if I'm ready for the castle. I I, I did the castle last time at 10. Norma, no, 15. I was 15 back, when I did the castle. I'm... You could say that. Can't have enough of it. I realize. Mm -hmm. No, not now. All right, then. Like, I will only run the companions probably for their perks. Preston's perk is friggin' terrible. So I'm probably not gonna run his. I was like, everybody's like, oh, it's amazing. No, it's not. It only works if you're surrounded by enemies, which if you're a sniper, you shouldn't be surrounded. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened. Uh -huh. I think we could settle down here. Yeah, I used to like- What do you mean, before? I lived here, over- Damn, mm -hmm. you say you were from- uh -huh. Just my son. Damn. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Yep, skipping sure. through all this stupid conversation. And I hope you don't. I've had word. The only chance of trouble is. Uh -huh. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. By the way. Yeah, one of the things that. Are you kidding me? Thank God for the sanctuary quest. You prick. Yeah, we'll keep that one. Um. But. Yeah, one of the things that I like to do is Radiant Quests when I'm doing survival. I don't run the story because I've run the story many times. Eventually, I'll have to run the some work. I'd be glad uh, story for, what's it called? Well, the Railroad. Because sure I don't have the Railroad better. achievements. Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep. Pretty sure I did all this shit already. I'm on it. <sighs> Great. I feel better already. Knowing we have a reliable. I hope you don't mind me asking. If we're gonna settle here, I'll start planting right away. Good deal. Sturgis. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Trouble is, mm -hmm. what we need is to get some. Uh -huh. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course. Windows too. And see, once you reach level five, it, this thing pops up. It says you now have access to the Vans training system and your level up perk chart. Perk costs one perk point, but grants you five and refunds the point you spent. This allows you to continue to customize your character, even with Horizon's slower leveling system. You can ignore it and get primal instincts. I'm going to go ahead and go with Vans because I don't really care much about having a little bit more damage as opposed to having a little bit more everything. Now, one thing I have noticed though is when you pick vans, it takes a second to register, so you have to choose it and close out and then go back in in a second. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put the craft thing there. And Store all the shit. Still way over capacity, but that's okay. We're gonna scrap all the extra equipment. Okay, wait, what did I need for that thing? It's in the workbenches. I mean, we need armor, okay. And science and ballistics. All right, so we'll do those. I'm just trying to get to this. Okay, so it's junk, junk, junk. Definitely junk. Yeah, don't care. That's mine. Uh, yeah, it's junk. No, it's actually in good condition. That's pretty good. That's only worth, that's worth nothing. So who cares? Those are all junk. Leather, leather. Degraded 10. Chest, those are about 40, those are garbage. Leather, so those are garbage. Leather, those are garbage. That's all sellable stuffs. All right. And, oof. Shreds everything. All right, so we need ballistics, armor, 
fucking science shit. In order to get to science, I have to put. Th I would have to put three perks into intelligence. Ah, what the hell? It, it'd be worth it. It'll be worth it. Because this station allows you. Also, I mean, science is all about experience, so. I'm gonna have to move this one over because this station is actually pretty big. Yeah, uh, you come down here. So you know what? I know what I can do. Move this just there for now. I think I can get to everything now. But yeah, the, the experimentation lab has a terminal on the end of it. Makes it a little bit bigger. But what the terminal does is you can reverse engineer your weapons. I haven't figured out the other two, so don't even bother asking me. I <laughs> have no clue. You click reverse engineer all weapons, and you see all that big XP that just is popping up? It unlocked 17 weapons. It remembers weapons that you recently scrapped, too. So if you scrap something, it'll remember it. Well, thank you, dog meat. Jackass. Um, all you really need, though, is the terminal. You don't actually have to... I mean, if you really wanted to, you could probably shove this in a wall or something and just have the terminal sticking out. But we have armor now, which means we can also build another workbench. Which means... I'm gonna move the shitter. You know what? Let's just put the shitter right here. Why not? There you go. The shitter. Because I'm going to... Move all of this stuff. So that I can extend... My workshop. Damn it. Okay, hang on. I should just store all these real quick. Because I need to build floors. But I want them to, like... I don't think I'm going to be able to get them to line up. No, probably not. Rest. Yeah. Dinner. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get them. You know what, then? We'll just do it this way. We'll make it as an extension. Make it its own little shed. That is not square at all. What the hell? I do not like that. Still not square. I don't like that at all. That's terrible. Oh, that just grabbed everything. We don't want that. <laughs> I mean, that's better. I mean, can I cross through without a problem? Yeah. Okay. Come on, these are so... such a pain in the butt to stick sometimes. Oh, and the reason that I normally do my scrapper outside is because... I don't know, I could probably put it inside now. I was like, I do it outside because, you know, like... It's just one of those things, like, I'm, I, I, I'm typically, when I'm running up to it, I'm super encumbered already, but now's not so much a problem, so we can probably ignore that. Okay, 
so. Put the experimentation lab here. Just get it up against that wall. Let me add. I think, yeah, it makes pillars. Perfect. Ceiling pieces. Come on. Be game. Okay, much better. So we've extended our workspace by quite a bit. Now I can build the other benches, like the backpack workbench. And I'll also build the OCD dispenser. I'll just build that one right here in the middle. Oh yes. Now, like I said, the OCD dispenser is cool, but all it is, is this just a visual thing it's it's so that you can eventually i'll build that one but i need to cut another cargo bot i can actually probably do that now i just let me see if there's anything else i need to be no I just need to build a cargo bot don't know if i can build one but let's see don't have any nuclear material and i need rank shot work work too so we are going to be changing out this generator though because I'm pretty sure I can make it now. Oh, I need technology. Workshop technology, which I'm pretty sure. Is it this skill? No, that's technologist. That's salvaging. That's my next skill. That and sniper. But these are going to get me, you know, more stuff. Like, I'll eventually get scrapper and all that other fun shit. All right, so we got Armor Smith 1, which means we can make a backpack. Let's do... I don't know what the difference in the numbers are, to be honest, so I don't think it really matters. Uh, Traveler's Backpack 54. So it's just a regular little backpack, but you take it over to the Armor Workbench. And you can add straps to it, which gives it a little bit of DT, or DR, whatever you want to call it. Can't do any of that yet. Don't need that. Hang on, let me equip that piece of armor and store the rest of this stuff. See what I can't do to my armor now. Because I'm sure I can probably do something. And actually, I can make it. I can remove its degradation. I have three of those? That's just weird. That is really weird. I had three pieces of armor that were all the same. All degraded. That's okay. Now they're all good quality. I can even augment the armor if I really wanted to, but I don't know about that yet. What I want to do is pocket it on as much as possible. Like, always do the chest piece first, just so you know. Like, if you've ever curious about pocketed gear, always, 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 always do the chest piece first. Because the chest gives you double. Okay. Alright, so in order to change these, you need, as you see, you need special stuff and you also need higher skills. So if I wanted to do boiled leather, I would need to make crafted leather patches. 
augments or things you loot or find. I've only found a few of them. You can change that. There's even different colors. I don't really care about that. Like I said, I, if I wanted to, I could change the armor too with my tailoring skill, but I'm out of cloth. Main thing I was looking for was just to, you know, get the armor so that it increases my carry weight, because now I'm up to 265. Let's break down some weapons. We don't need... Oh, no, no, no. All right, we don't need that. Okay, so... This thing is nice. I'm going to store it, though, because it doesn't do me any good. My ballistic skill isn't quite high enough for that. All right, whatever. Um... Yeah, not quite. Close, 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 but not quite. So, I'm going to store the bolter just because... Well, I mean, can I put a scope on it? I could put a scope on it, but I don't have any bolts. So it really doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Can you do any of this? I don't see a point in putting a scope on a pistol. Like, if I could make it a rifle, hell yeah. No. Um, it makes that 15. Sure. Like, I'd like a scope, but I've just run out of adhesive. Okay. I can't do any of this yet. Like this, you actually can start doing missions. Uh, if I go to command missions, you see like you have to assign people to different jobs, but I don't have any jobs assigned yet because I don't have any friggin' settlers. Um, what I can do though is I can actually, since I now have sanctuary, I can start making job spots. Uh, so like if I wanted to, I could go to architect. Once you're an architect, you go over to production and then mission jobs. See, like scrapping. Uh, this is a job. It's a technician. And then there's an, a repairman, which is a technician. I don't think. Yeah. Wait. Settlers can automatically be outfitted with appropriate outfit. Yeah, I want that. I want that. Whenever you give them a job, it'll actually change their outfit. It's like, I want to do militia, but I don't think I would need ballistic fiber, and I don't think I have any. I might be able to make one, maybe. Let's see. Materials, no. I need carbon fiber and a lot of ballistic fiber scrap, so no go on that. Um, let me check that and see, because it tells you how many people you can actually assign to each job. You can over-assign all you want. If I wanted to put 100 people on technician, I could, but you can only send so many of them out. So we can have one engineer, one entertainer, one craftsman, no hunters, one more technician. Okay. And that's based on, like, I guess how you build your settlements. I'm not sure. Once again, if I ever say anything wrong, please, please, please correct me. Butcher can't do hunter engineer. Um, I need technology rank too. I could do armor smith. So we'll do an armor smith. Like, I could put a weaponsmith down, but I don't think I want to do that right now. I will put this one down, though, because that's an entertainer job. Actually, yeah, we'll put it in here. Okay. And as we get settlers, they'll take these jobs. Two of them actually have already been taken. Uh, you see right here, this guy is assigned Sturgis. Actually, Sturgis took it over, so... Preston won't do anything because Preston is useless. Codsworth won't do anything because Codsworth is useless. Um, Preston won't become a settler until you actually finish the castle. Um, but yeah, like... I might want to get... Somebody else on food. How many of these do I have left? Nah, Marcy... Actually, I want you on food, sweetheart. Next settle I get will do that. Let me see if I can't wait. Pr let me check my other production stuffs. I could do those, but I don't see a point. I need technology rank up for all that. 
I need, okay. We need to upgrade our technology to rank two, so let me see what I need to do that. Hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. Don't mention it. You have no idea. My son. Uh -huh. I understand how you feel. But you and I. Looks like he's taken one of the jobs. Yep. So yeah, we need workshop technology. But you, you upgrade your technology levels here. See, like, using ballistics. Like this one right here, I can actually do it. I just need fuel, nuclear material, and shotgun parts. Uh, can't do that one. Can't do that one. This one a nuclear material and circuitry. I think all of them need nuclear material, which... You don't really start getting until you start scrapping cars. I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does. I don't know what a lot of this does, so... Like I said, I'm learning. It's like, I need a light. I need a light in here. It's too dark. Stick, bitch. There we go. Lights. But yeah, there's a lot of shit I want to do, but I can't do yet. I still need a lot more stuff. Like, this is pretty good. You can get a cargo, cargo bot from contract, which means you assign someone else to make it. That's why it costs bottle caps. But it still requires stuff. Like, cargo bot for myself, all I need is 10 nuclear material. This one, actually, it requires more for some reason, but whatever. These you need. You friggin' really need new purifier modules. Because you can't get purified water until you have them. I do not have any mail. Okay, so I need shotguns. But yeah, see, like, she's now working at that station. Unfortunately, the settlers, they can take the jobs. Like, June Law is probably Save taking this job. I knew you'd join us here, Oh god, that's Mob of Murphy. Your energy is tied to this place. I used to live here. Ah, but the dis- The site can help? You're an- Oh, not this. We'd have never- The site isn't worth killing your- It's my- Failed. Alright, try again tomorrow. By the way, if you actually have any of your companion- Good companions like Garvey, um- any of the other ones. I can't think of all their names, but if you have them in your party when you tell her to stop taking drugs, uh, it'll actually add to their karma. Like, it can add to Garvey even even if he's in the area, but he needs to be in the area. And unfortunately, right now, he's probably patrolling around and he's nowhere near me, so. Seriously? I can't make any friggin' bandages? Okay, I know what I can do. I got a bunch of, like, random junk that I can scrap these yeah. I forgot to yeah I got to reattach my battery Yeah, these things will give you cloth. I'm sure there's probably other stuff that I could probably like scrap inside Sanctuary that'll give me cloth right now, but I'm not too worried about it. I just need some more goddamn bandages. Oh god, I got Mama Murphy's outfit. She gives it to you. For helping. You know what I'm gonna do with Mama Murphy's outfit? I'm gonna get rid of it! Shit, I need more adhesive. I'm gonna have to go on a scrounging mission. I did that just so I could friggin' use it. 
I, I needed to use it. Wait. Oh, I'm just parched. I'm okay. I thought I was like screwed right now. I was like, no, thanks. Here's what I think of your beaded blazer, bitch. <laughs> I don't like you, Mama Murphy. Might as well make those. Never know when you might need them. I mean, I can make some foods right now, but I'm gonna wait because I still have quite a bit of food stuffs. So. I don't know where that came from, but whatever. I don't know what those are for either. The charge cards? I could never figure it out. Wait. Oh, I can't scrap it. That sucks. Stupid Mama Murphy. It's such a useless piece of clothing. It doesn't do anything. You have beds? Go to them. Shut up. Yeah, I know he might. Because he's a punk. Yeah? Excuse me. Need something? I thought you might. Sturgis said you did. Punk. Of course I failed to catch anything. It's easier if you just macro it so you don't have to keep opening your pit boy. Come on, give me some fish. Got something. Smallmouth bass. Caught something. Another smallmouth bass. Nice. I just watch that box. It's so ridiculous, but hey, whatever. And it broke. So we got two small mouth bass. Okay. Better than nothing. Okay. Why are you in my house? Why are you all in my house? Get out of my house! They've opened all my doors? Seriously, that's why I put locks on my doors. Like, no, like, I'll eventually put a switch on this one so that I flick a switch and it opens the door and then I can flick it from the other side and close it so they can't get in. I don't understand these people. You born in a barn? Close the door behind you, you lazy pieces of shit. You well done. Yeah, see, I want this too, but I need to get my survival up a little bit. And I also need to get some damn corn. Whatever. Um, no, not the backpack bench. I was trying, I thought that was the armor. They look so similar. That and the armor bench. I wanted to see if I can do anything to this vault suit. Could do something, but I don't have any adhesive, so it doesn't matter. Oh, you can change the colors. I can make it white. Wow, that's just weird. Oh my god, that looks weird. Well, it's now red. I didn't realize it actually costs pigments. Whatever, we'll just make it classic. <laughs> oh, look, I'm getting reputation with Codsworth by just. Changing the color of my vault suit. Jackass. 
Wait, that's not what I wanted. Storage is what I wanted. Wow, I got a lot of compost. Sweet. I don't have any vegetables or fruit yet because I don't have any plants yet. Like, these plants don't go in your production storage. These plants go just into your direct storage. So, if, if you need fruit or vegetables, you go into your workshop and then it should be in the food section if you have any. Um, let's see. I don't think I have any. I think they're eating it all. Or they're turning it into settler rations. Which, settler rations are good. They just have rads. So yeah, like you, that that stuff will end up here. Production storage is where produced stuff. So like when I do the when I do the auto auto crops, those will end up there and stuff like that. And this is off kilter and it's driving me nuts. I really need Wilson. What do I need to make Wilson? Nuclear material, cargo bot, and a stealth boy. Where do I get a stealth boy at this level? Well, I don't know. But that'll be my next goal then. Uh, for the next ex next episode, since we're just over an hour, we'll be searching for a cargo bot and some nuclear materials so that we can craft Wilson. So I can show you guys how awesome Wilson is. Wilson is basically the Fallout 4 version of EDE. So thank you guys all so very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode as we search for those things so that we can craft an awesome robot. Thank you very much and have a nice day.